Hello again. Today we're going to make a super quick circle of arrows in Figma in around two minutes. This is a this is a visual here that somebody posted in our daily visual community the other day. And I think the visual has got lots of potential. And this is why I'm creating this tutorial, because there's a simple way to make the right hand bit, the circle of arrows, look much neater and much better in about two minutes. So let me show you how to do this. This tutorial here, by the way, I was initially going to say you can use the clock tutorial that I've already done on YouTube to solve this, but you actually can't because it's got the caps on the end. It's got the little bit of the arrows. So the way that I would do this is first of all, start with just a line. So pressing L on the keyboard and then drawing out a line like this. And then just, I'm just going to lift up the width of this so you can see it. Now I'm going to enter the shape edit tool, double click and click on just one point. So that the outer edge point, click the three dots and then click on cap and just do a line arrow. That's going to be fine for this tutorial and then double click out. So we've got our first line here. Now we need to make the opposite line to make this beginnings of a circle. So I'm going to duplicate this first of all, by selecting it and then pressing command and D or control and D. It's now duplicated that and I'm going to drag it down and rotate it like this and then just move it down to the bottom. At this point, it's important that these two things stay in line. So if you've got one over here, something like this, please make sure you realign them up because if there's one out of line, out of whack like this, it won't work. So make sure you select both elements, go up into the top right hand corner and hit the middle one here to make sure they are both centrally aligned. So we've got our first two parts here and I'm going to group them because it's going to make this next bit easier when I've grouped them. So I'm going to select both of them, hit command and G or control and G. And now I am going to duplicate them. So I'm going to duplicate them by using the same shortcut again, command D and drag them around just one point and hold down the shift key as you were doing this. If I do not hold the shift key down, you get a free form rotation like this. And I want to do this in steps because it will make it look neater and nicer. So when you first start select the two elements, select somewhere down at the bottom here, left click and hold it down and then hold shift down at the same time. It's going to give you steps like this. Can you see how it's moving around in steps? And then as soon as I've done that, let go of the first step. Now, an important point here, and this is something you're probably going to get wrong when you first do this. If I duplicate this again, so if I hit duplicate, hold shift down and move once, then hit duplicate again, you're going to get this. The elements are going to go off the page. It's going to look weird. And you're going to wonder what you did wrong and shout at me because I didn't tell you properly. Do not do this. Let me undo this and explain what happened. So the first thing you need to do is hit command and D again to duplicate, hold shift down, drag it around once, then left click off the element, then left click back on. I know this is a pain, but it has to be done. Then duplicate again like this. Now we're at this point here, we could actually duplicate them all. So I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight all of them like this, hit command and D again, and then hold shift down and drag them all around like this. And it hits the same point again, left click off and select a few of them again, command D, hold shift down and drag around like this. So now we've nearly got the perfect circle. I just need to drag one more around because I did this in a bit of a weird way. So I'm going to select this one here, command D, hold shift down again. Don't forget that and drag it around. So we've got our perfect little circle there. And if you compare that to the one above there that somebody in daily visual did, it looks much neater. And if you just compare the two, once you've made it look much neater like this, the idea looks much more finalized, looks much more professional, and it's actually dead easy to do. So that is how you create a circle of arrows in Figma in two minutes flat.